So this drug has been rolled across tens of millions of people. Um, what the report slightly got wrong was actually, it wasn't that the drug didn't perform, it's that the old drug performed really, really well. So the new drug, just when you compare it to the old drug, it, you know, uh, it did slightly outperform it, but not to the degree we thought, simply because the first one did so well. So in some ways, it's actually quite good news. Um, we, the one thing that is of concern is that we are seeing people gaining a great deal of weight on, um, on the new regimen. But even that's been really, really um, complicated because it actually might be that they, they are just, South Africans are very prone to becoming obese anyway. And it does, a lot of people are arguing, quite and persuading me certainly, that in fact it is just this return back to our normal diet that just puts us on a normal trajectory. But I think the bottom line is that the war against HIV in terms of, of finding new therapies is still there. Right. And we need to be looking for better drugs. And perhaps we should start by taking a step back. Um, what spurred this new study on? Um, I mean, were you seeing signs that created some kind of concern around this new drug? So no, the old the old drug was actually the reason we did it. It was expensive, it had side effects. A lot of people, it messed with your sleep, it yeah. made you feel dizzy. And then there were metabolic changes that messed with your glucose and your 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 cholesterol and a few other things. And, and the other thing is it's very easy to break. Um, to, to get resistance to it is, is very easy. The new drug didn't have any of those things. It also didn't have drug interactions with, um, the new drug didn't have drug interactions with, um, with contraceptive, with um, you know, sort of oral contraceptive tablets. So there were lots of benefits on paper. When we started comparing it, the, the old drug did really well. So, you know, with all the, it's part of the problem with fast tracking new drugs is mm -hmm. that you pick up the side effects in local populations. It's very important to remember a lot of these drugs were tested in gay white males in North America and Europe. The moment we stop extrapolating that to our own population, this is why it's so important for us to do research in our own populations, we start seeing the side effects, particularly amongst black women. So it's again, you know, we must be pushing very hard for these drugs when they're going to be rolled out in our, in our local populations, that the studies get done here first, so that we have that information to give to our patients before they start um, taking new drugs. I would have imagined that what happens on any other case. But n nonetheless, I mean, outside of the weight gain, what are some of the adverse effects of this new drug that you found? Pretty much that's it. Yeah. It was the only real side effect we saw. We were, uh, you know, in other countries, patients also com uh, complained that it messed with their sleep. We actually didn't see that. Our patients actually tolerated it very, very well. Um, the, the, everything else looked exactly the same, that it was slightly safer for bones and for kidneys compared to the old drugs, um, and that there was less dizziness. So, in fact, this drug was wonderful. It was just the simple thing around the weight gain that, that, that messed with us. Oh, okay. And your, your comments about why are these not done locally, uh, that's yeah. actually why we did the study, is we were very worried that people are going to push this drug and you know, we'd only pick it up later, which is exactly what happened. We picked up the side effect, which was not reported until we came along. Mm. How concerned then should we be about patients who are taking this new drug in the absence of the knowledge that you've just presented now? In other words, so, are these effects in the greater scheme of the fight against HIV detrimental enough for us to renege back to the old drug? Or is it just a matter of being aware of it and perhaps changing things like your diet? So, uh, uh, yeah, that, I think that's one of the great medical secrets is that diet changes do, do very, very little for weight gain. It's the same yeah. as exercise. I know anyone who's tried to lose weight, it's an uphill battle. It's one of the hardest things you can possibly do. It's actually probably harder than giving up smoking and a whole range of other things that medicine often has very um, poor track record in terms of offering. So it's definitely better than the old drug um, in the sense that, you know, not everybody gains weight. For instance, men don't tend not to gain that much weight. So for men, for instance, if you, or women who are not gaining weight in the new drug, they can carry on with their lives. What we're battling with is we don't have a good alternative except for the old drug um, for the patients who, um, who, who are actually gaining weight. So the, it's a real headache at the moment. So you simply say, a lot of our patients are saying, we love this new drug. Then they start gaining weight. And they say, no, we still want the new drug. But it becomes kind of a tipping point where you're replacing your entire wardrobe, where people are suddenly saying, actually, this is uncomfortable. I want something else. And at this stage, we don't have much to offer them. In sure. fact, we have nothing.
Yeah, yeah. Certainly drives home uh, a point you've already made that, you know, the fight against HIV and getting to a point where we have suitable treatment is far from over. That's the time we have for this conversation this morning. Thanks very much for weighing in. Certainly appreciate your update on this issue. Professor Francois Fenta uh, is uh, director of Ezincha Research Group at Wits University, sounding the alarm there over this new HIV 3-in-1 drug, which is now found to be contributing to weight gain, especially among black women in South South Africa. What does this mean, I guess, for those patients, especially as we also deal with the added issue of the COVID-19 pandemic? Watching that closely for you.